Hey guys, Paul with CP Attic. I'm sitting in my 97 F350. Uh, basically my Explorer truck or adventure truck or whatever you want to call it that we went uh, several thousand miles in this last summer. Uh, several people ask about the truck itself and, and the camper and all that. And I really never got a chance to do a video on it or show the inside of it or anything like that. I've, I've got most of my stuff taken out of the camper now as uh, I'm actually fixing to put it in storage for the winter time. But uh, I figured I'd give you guys a rundown of how the, the camper operates, some of the truck features, some of the interior of the camper and things like that uh, because it's been such a hot topic. So I'm up today at uh, my storage unit getting ready to put it in for the winter. So I figured, hell, why not? Let's, let's do it now. So um, if y'all bear with me, I'm going to kind of go over the details of everything and uh, show you the inside. So give me just a minute. So, 1997 F-350 four-wheel drive with 140,000 miles on it with my 1997 Hallmark Chukara camper. Um, basically all the amenities of home. And there's my Bronco. Got it out playing with it this afternoon. But, I mean, it's a typical camper just with a pop top, so I don't have so much rolling resistance going down the road with the wind drag and everything being a, obviously an older truck with not a whole lot of power since it's still basically bone stock. But Hallmark, one of their, one of their signatures is the large side windows on it. So it's kind of cool when you get inside, but it's pretty simple setup. There's four of these clamps, two on the front. There's two on the back, one on each side. So I'm gonna go in, show y'all how it's set up. A short folks gotta have a stool to get in. It's cramped at first, but pretty simple really. So crank handle here. I'm gonna go outside and flip my latches so we can pop it. Tell you what, I'm gonna set the camera up outside so you can watch the top come up. All right, so yeah, you face it down, but anyways, aside from everything, there she is, all set up. So basically, the only thing left from here to make it home sweet home is here in the back. Got your electric port. And then you can tie in under here for fresh water, outside shower. But it has pretty much everything a regular camper would have. So, um, queen mattress raises up. We've got storage room under there. Easy fold down, overhead storage. It's where I usually keep all my food and stuff. Over here is where I keep all of my utensils and margarita maker. Got a full sink. And here's all my utensils and everything else. And there's a hot water heater in there. <clears throat> Oven and stove. Refrigerator, rear closet, the toilet slash shower slash sink 
the bathroom. And then this will turn into a sleeping area for two midgets or a couple of kids, whichever you've got with you at the time, depending on what kind of party you're having. But there's actually a lot of storage under here. You got quite a bit here, here, drawers under here, main circuit breaker panel here. It's actually really comfortable. And this one didn't come with an air conditioner. Somebody added it as a as an add-on. So it's kind of an afterthought here, but works great. Stays really cool in here going down the road. I swapped all the, the lights for LEDs so it doesn't draw hardly any power and this thing can be self-sufficient. And then technically windows up, windows down so you don't have to have the lights on. Or if you are in a cool place, you can open the, the screen windows and have quite a bit of circulation. It just rained yesterday, so it's still a little bit wet from rain. But, and then it kinda, with no power, still very, very bright. comfortable in here I mean it's great for being out camping and kind of give you an idea how bright it is in here with no power hooked up to this thing and it's nice and cool so I say comfy bed sit down at the dinner table and really and truly there's plenty of room in here. Me and the wife spent almost a month in here with a dog over the summer with no issues. And then the full size windows on the outside. So, and there you have it. Set up, home sweet home when you're on the road takes less than five minutes to set up five minutes to take down the hardest part is cranking the top because of the air conditioner on it it's a little heavier based off of having the air conditioner oh i forgot to show you all the coolest part the dang awning let me set that up real quick you'll like that all right so this is my favorite part of the whole camp really simple Voila. Now I have it awning with lots of shade. Super simple setup. Plenty of shade, nice and cool out. Sit out and have a few drinks, enjoy an outside meal, whatever you want. And basically camp set up, go four wheeling in the Bronco, come back and have a place to stay. So works great. And putting it back up is just as easy as taking it down. Watch. Back the legs. In place.
sure you don't have any canvas hanging out, which I don't. Grab handles great for those short folks. Put it down. Up, ready to go. Head on down the road. All there is to it. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you got any more questions for me, always you know leave a comment on the comment section and like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Y'all have a good day.